It's a fact of life. Everyone's got to eat. But while most of us are more than happy to have a sandwich and a bag of hot Cheetos, some people are quite literally insane and would rather travel the world to eat. Well, you'll see. From a crunchy, gooey fish eye to a four-pound, cholesterol-packed cow tongue, here are the 15 things you wouldn't believe people actually eat. <sighs> Number 15. Tuna Eye as our planet continues to struggle its way through an increasingly difficult time in its existence, chefs are working to reduce their environmental impact any way that they can. Some focus exclusively on sustainable produce, some avoid single-use plastic, and some just give up that lukewarm McDonald's lunch in favor of a fresh lettuce leaf. But all of that pales in comparison to what Japanese chefs do. While most chefs work to use as much of their ingredients as possible to avoid waste, Japanese chefs truly do use every part of the fish. In sushi bars, it's common to enjoy the delicate taste of a tuna belly. But many chefs also particularly enjoy a more gross part of the fish, the eye. Believe it or not, there are many restaurants and bars in Japan that sell the fleshy eyes as appetizers or even just bar snacks. After some good cooking, the hard outer edge of the eye can be bitten into, allowing the gelatinous contents of the inside to be sucked out. Yum? Those that have been lucky enough to taste the eyes describe them as somewhat bland, similar to a more traditional seafood like squid, which explains why so many chefs work to brighten the flavor with ingredients like soy sauce and ginger. I think I'll stick to regular bar snacks. Thank you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Cow Tongue for many Americans, the idea of eating tongue is probably pretty disgusting. But believe it or not, the cow tongue was a popular ingredient in the United States until the 1950s or so, and continues to be popular around the world. Bite your tongue really takes on a different meaning with this meal. While it may not look particularly appealing, the cow tongue is an incredibly flexible piece of meat, and has been said to taste like ordinary steak, if a little milder. This unusual ingredient is used in soups, salads, and even sandwiches around the world, particularly in popular regional dishes, the most famous one coming from Mexico. South of the border, curious eaters enjoy a meal known as Tacos de la Guena, tongue tacos for those not knowledgeable in Spanish, a recipe that is a closely guarded secret. I'm kidding, it's a tongue on a taco. It's also a popular ingredient in Korean and Japanese barbecue restaurants and is even consumed to celebrate Jewish holidays. That's right, it's kosher! For those of you on a diet, it should be said that a standard 3 to 4 pound tongue contains more protein than a T-bone steak, which would definitely help you build that muscle. Unfortunately, it's also high in cholesterol, so you probably wouldn't survive too long on a tongue diet. Number 12. Head Cheese Don't be fooled by the misleading name, this is not a piece of cheese. And believe me, when you find out what it is, you may be glad you're not getting it on your sandwiches. Head cheese is actually a terrine, but not any old terrine, obviously. This one is significantly more vomit-inducing. Pop those in the fridge until they set up, and then voila! Back in the Middle Ages, peasants had to find a way to eat that wouldn't break their already non-existent budget. While the elites and upper classes enjoyed meals with actual meat, peasants were forced to make do with scraps like the discarded heads of cows, pigs, or sheep. They discovered that if you simmered the head in water, you could produce a delicious stock. But when you let the skull cool, you get some delicious, natural bone gelatin that could create something even better. It was then that head cheese came into existence, a terrine made from the gummy insides of an animal head. Well, at least it's sustainable. While the meat was once the domain of peasants and others that didn't have the benefit of costly ingredients, head cheese can now be found in many high-end, expensive restaurants all over the world. 
If you can stomach it, of course. Number 11. Frog Sashimi It seems that every single animal on the planet is eaten in some part of the world, no matter how unusual or, well, weird. Take, for example, the humble frog. Unless you've ever been to an expensive French restaurant, the likelihood of you actually eating a frog is low. But now, apparently, even Japan is getting in on the experience, so we're all probably going to be eating it soon enough. Restaurants in Japan are now producing sushi with unusual and original ingredients, including the bullfrog. After beheading and skinning the animal, the chefs use the remaining skin to serve as a presumably tasty new kind of sashimi. Obviously, this new menu item has not gone down well with animal rights activists, animal lovers, or anybody that does not like to eat animals that live in grimy-looking ponds. And when you see the way that the animal's legs continue to twitch and move even after death, it's pretty easy to understand how it might not be quite so appealing. Japanese diners tend to be pretty open-minded when it comes to their sushi, but even they are probably a little hesitant about diving into a basically a live frog. Then again, it's sushi. Would you notice? Number 10. Drunken Shrimp If you saw those words on a menu, you'd likely assume that we're talking about a delicious dish that features shrimp cooked in wine or, if you're especially fearless, Jägermeister. And, in a way, you'd be right. But we'd guess that to eat a meal like this, you'd probably have to be pretty hammered yourself. All across Asia, restaurants serve what they claim to be authentic, drunken shrimp. And while some are wildly different recipes, they have some basic similarities. The one requirement for a dish to be classified as drunken shrimp? The little critters have to be served alive. And moving. Yeah probably best to crack out a bottle or six of wine before you dare try them. While the Japanese prefer to serve the fish without any cooking oil, Chinese chefs like to get them absolutely wasted first, soaking them in spirits and marinating until they've absorbed the flavor of their marinade. Then they're served in a quirky glass goblet with a lid that will hopefully, prevent them from flinging up into your face. So that's fun. If you were to serve live produce in the Western world, it's highly likely your restaurant would be immediately closed and never allowed to open again. But Asia is a whole other culture, and by all accounts, these hammered little friends are actually surprisingly tasty. Alcohol can do some incredible things. Number 9. Sea Urchin for most of us, poor folk, the eating habits of the rich have always been a little bit… Uh, unusual. While some like to just hunt random animals in their backyard and eat them, others prefer the exotic flavors of whatever the hell has been dredged up from, well, pretty much anywhere. The sea urchin is a spiky creature that lives deep beneath the sea, and upon first glance, it's probably not the kind of thing that would make you hungry, but over the past few years, the sea urchin has become a much-loved staple of chef's menus worldwide, finding its way into pasta sauces, Five dollars. You can right over there. Chinese food, and even into Gordon Ramsay's scrambled eggs. I would imagine that few people would want to be eating a bottom feeder with their breakfast eggs, but that may be why I'm a voice actor and not a multi-millionaire celebrity chef. Those that have tasted the sea urchin describe it as creamy, slightly sweet, and tasting like the sea without being fishy. That's a unique flavor profile for one bit of seafood. It's fair to say. Still not sure if I want it with my eggs though, Gordon. Number 8. Sashimi There will probably be a lot of comments from those that genuinely love sashimi and cannot understand why we've put it on this list. But sorry, it's kind of weird. Delicious, yes, and nutritious, sure, why not? But weird? Absolutely. Anybody with a basic understanding of cooking knows that the official guidelines appointed by the FDA and other global bodies on food advise to never serve or consume raw or uncooked meat of any kind. We're also told that some raw fish contain mercury and that too much of it can kill us. 
Obviously, nobody listens to the FDA, which is why things like sushi and steak tartare and all other kinds of raw meat dishes are still massively popular around the world. But the risk of potential salmonella, or other potential fatal parasitic infection, is a real big one to overcome when it comes to raw fish. Sushi is an incredibly complex and masterful form of cooking. <laughs> But it will never not be unusual that so many people are willing to eat raw meat. But at least you'll always have a friend in you. But at least you'll always have a friend in you when you get that eventual tapeworm. Number 7. Kasu Marzu if you have a sensitive stomach, this one is very much not for you. Actually, if you like food at all, this is the time for you to step away and do something else. Still with us, you're brave. This is the most dangerous cheese in the world. It's also the most disgusting cheese in the world. And frankly, I have no idea why it exists or, or why it is sold. Kasu Marzu is a highly specific kind of Italian cheese and is considered a rare delicacy. Partially because it's illegal. And partially, well, mostly, because it's deliberately infested with maggots. Yup, originating in the beautiful Italian island of Sardinia. Kasu Marzu is an otherwise ordinary sheep's milk cheese and takes a long time to produce. Most likely because it ends up with thousands and thousands of maggots and larvae. Are you feeling sick yet? Why this particular cheese exists or why anybody would go to such lengths to find, produce, sell, buy, eat, or even go in search of it is anybody's guess. But I, for one, am pretty revolted by the very idea of it. Maybe it was invented to kill someone. What a way to go. Number 6. Insects Look, we're not here to start critiquing the food culture of other countries. We love everyone equally, and we admire every individual culture for all that they bring to the world. But this kind of thing would get you shut down and detained in any Western country. So, it is a little weird. While America and other Western countries like to improve the flavor of our street food with condiments like ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, or some kind of questionable mix of all of the above, Cambodia has its own intriguing ingredients. No matter where you go in Cambodia, it seems just about every street food vendor offers insects as snacks. Whether it's fried tarantula, crispy grasshopper, or giant water bugs, it seems everything is designed to be as natural as possible. But while most of us will be pretty repulsed by this, science has shown that these ingredients are actually great for our health. So, are we the weird ones? You tell me. For many. The addition of insects to salads and soups transforms an otherwise mundane street food meal into a gourmet restaurant dish. For people like me, I'm okay sitting on my couch with a bag of Cheetos, I think. Number 5. Fruit Bat Soup when you're devouring on delicacies out of the ordinary, chances are you'd rather not have to look at what you're actually eating. While insects and exotic animals probably taste delicious, they're not exactly aesthetically pleasing, are they? Well, let's just say that's not a lesson chefs in Palau have learned just yet. Easily the most famous dish in one of the world's least famous countries, fruit bat soup is far from the most visually pleasant meal. Served in a large bowl with a flavorful and hopefully delicious soup, the centerpiece of the dish is the whole fruit bat that just kind of stares into your soul as you eat it. It's one of the most unnerving mealtime sights you could ever hope to have in your life. But as with just about every delicacy in the world, there are some slightly imbalanced people that will go out of their way to taste it for themselves. And apparently, it tastes good? I'm not here to judge. Even if the sight of this dish doesn't necessarily appeal to you, you have to admit that it takes some courage to put an animal corpse on the plate alongside the food. It's like giving someone a steak and also a whole cow to physically watch them eat. Number 4. Blood Pudding Here's another food product that comes with a warning for the squeamish. Yeah, if you're squeamish, you may want to turn away. While pretty much every protein is made up of some form of animal meat, this one is a little extra gross. Okay, it's actually a lot grosser. 
Well, unless you're part vampire and love blood. If that's the case, you're in luck. Blood pudding is a sausage made from, you guessed it, animal blood, and is particularly popular in the United Kingdom, where it's a part of the artery-clogging meal known as the full English breakfast. To produce an edible sausage, the blood is mixed with oatmeal and some kind of fat before being pushed into its casing, which is already pretty disgusting. Then, depending on the intended use, the blood sausage is then boiled, fried, or grilled before it's sliced up. It's pretty dang gross, all things considered, but if there's one thing we know about humans, it's that we actually kind of like gross things. Blood sausages are produced all over the world, with regional markets adding their own spice and seasonings to the blood to produce a specific taste. I guess that's the edible difference between type A and type O. Number three, Eskimo ice cream. Yes, we know it sounds adorable when we put it like that, but actually, Eskimo ice cream, or akutak as it's known, is a real mishmash of ingredients. Seriously, it almost seems like this food came along entirely by accident. I imagine it tastes like it too. The indigenous peoples of Alaska developed this delicacy, and they've now been enjoying it for thousands upon thousands of years. Made up of reindeer fat, seal oil, fresh snow, fresh berries, and the occasional fish, Akatak sounds like the complete opposite of what we know to be ice cream, but it's just as popular among these indigenous people. At one point, when hunters would venture out to capture their next meal, they would apparently bring along some akutak as a snack. In fact, they became so talented at producing this miraculous snack that just about anyone could transform this mess of ingredients into a light, foamy delight, and through the use of air whipped into the… stuff. Today, akutak is just as popular as it has ever been among Alaska's indigenous population. Though it has yet to make it into everyday American supermarkets, there's still time though. Better get your reindeer fat ready. Number two, scorpions. If there's one timeless rule of thumb when it comes to food, it's this. Do not eat anything poisonous or even with a stinger. At least not until it's all cut off and rendered harmless. But when it comes to Chinese cuisine, those rules do not apply. In fact, pretty much everything is quite literally on the table. Throughout southern China, insects and other unusual delicacies are incredibly popular street food options for curious and or gullible tourists to try out. And one of the most popular of those delicacies, the notoriously dangerous scorpion. Human instinct tells us not to even touch these fried morsels of terror. But as Chinese chefs often say to concerned visitors, the heat kills the poison. Apparently, there aren't many locals that actually eat fried scorpion. But there's a great tourist market that loves to try things, and I bet most of those tourists also have YouTube vlogs. Most people that eat scorpion have lived to tell the tale. However, we're still pretty uncertain as to why anybody would willingly volunteer themselves to eat one of the most poisonous animals on the planet. Still, there's one thing we can all agree on. Tourists are beyond gullible. Number one, rooster testicles. Of all the entries on this list, this is probably the least surprising. It seems like no matter where you go on earth, there will always be someone willing to eat questionable animal genitals. That's a sad fact of life, but it's true. And for some reason, there are always tourists that want to eat them. What are the chances of that? If you are particularly curious about what rooster balls taste like, maybe a trip to Hungary is just what the… uh… Vet ordered? As Hungary's number one rooster testicle dish, kakashir porkolt, is a stew made up of presumably delicious rooster testicles and vegetables, alongside dumplings, potatoes, or just some good old fashioned white bread. Thankfully, locals in Hungary are not actually that hungry for rooster testicle stew, leaving it for the curious tourists to enjoy. That is, of course, provided that they don't have a nut allergy. I will take my applause off the Thank you. 
Today, Kakashir Porkolt is most commonly found at festivals where drunken revelers who have all but given up on ordinary nutrition happily volunteer to try some testicular stew. I think I'll stick to my toasted nuts. Thank you. Would you eat any of these unusual dishes, or have you already had a taste? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.